हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर वीडियो सीरीज एक्सप्लोरिंग मटेरियल डिजाइन थ्री विद जेटपैक कंपोज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग बॉटम शीट्स बॉटम शीट स्लाइड्स अप फ्रॉम द बॉटम ऑफ द स्क्रीन टू रिवील मोर कंटेंट और एक्शंस दे कैन बी इधर मॉडल वेयर दे अपीयर अब अदर स्क्रीन कॉन्टेंट एंड मस्ट बी डिसमिस टू इंटरेक्ट विद द स्क्रीन और परसिस्टेंट where they form part of the screen's primary ui now let's dive into code and see how to implement a model bottom sheet in jetpack compose with material design 3 so here first let's create a new file here first let's create a button on which click we will open our bottom sheet so here first we need to create a state where we will keep whether bottom sheet should open or not so here this is giving errors so first let's import two values get value and this set value so now this won't give error anymore so here we will use if condition if this open bottom sheet state will be true then we will show a model bottom sheet so here this is giving error so let's opt in this experimental material 3 api and let's use this open bottom sheet state here so when we click on this on dismiss request it means when user clicks outside the bottom sheet so it means user wants to close the bottom sheet so here we will update our state to false like this and here when we click on this button so here we will open our bottom sheet so let's change the state to true like this so here let's put these on separate line and these parentheses are for the bottom sheet content so what we will do let's create one more composable function where we will keep this bottom sheet content so here for this bottom sheet content i have used this lazy column so in this lazy column i have used these 50 items of this lazy list item so we will use this dummy list with this text and this icon so after this list i have used this button so we will use this button to hide our bottom sheet so here let's use this on click through the parameter of this bottom sheet content so let's attach this on click with this button like this so let's use this bottom sheet content here now let's use our composable function in the main activity first let's minimize these imports and let's use it in a box like this so now let's run our app and see how this one is looking so here is our button so first let's minimize this and let's go to our file so here i have used this button so when we click on this button so this value will become true 
when this will be true so here we can see this bottom sheet will open so let's click on this button so we can see the here is our bottom sheet so we can drag up like this and we can scroll our items like this and in the last we can see this is our cancel button so here when we click on this nothing will happen because i have left it blank for now and when we drag down this bottom sheet so we can see it will close and let's again click on this bottom sheet button so here we can see there is a drag handle so we can also put some content here you have probably seen some content in the youtube app where when we click on the comment so this bottom sheet opens and here above we see the comment header so we can also do something like that so let's close this bottom sheet so here we have a parameter called drag handle this drag handle so here we can provide our custom contents so this is the content i will use for this drag handle so here i have used this drag handle from this bottom sheet defaults and after this we will place our heading of this comments there will be some space and there will be a divider divider is simply a thin line so let's run our app again and see how this is looking so let's click on our button again so here we can see the header of our bottom sheet is looking pretty good so let's drag up and here we can see we can scroll down like this now the next thing we will give the functionality of this close so when we click on this cancel button then this bottom sheet should also close so for that let's drag down it and here we will provide this functionality first let's minimize this and here first we need to create a state of this model bottom sheet so here i have created this coroutine scope and this bottom sheet state so first let's pass this state in our model bottom sheet and let's provide the functionality of this on hide button click so here why i have used this so much code why not only i have used this open bottom sheet to false because according to the documentation if we want to close this bottom sheet other than through this on dismiss request then we need to first call this hide function of this bottom sheet state and when this operation will complete then we will call this invoke on completion we will see if this bottom sheet state is not visible here i have used this inverse symbol then we will update our open bottom sheet state to false so this is how we close our bottom sheet if we are not closing from this on dismiss request so now let's run our app again and see this so let's click on our bottom sheet so here we can see this is our list of items so let's scroll down and click on this cancel button so here we can see our bottom sheet has closed so now the next thing uh, when we click on this bottom sheet so we can see first this bottom sheet will open partially then we drag upward then this bottom sheet will open fully so suppose we don't have this much items so in that case we don't want this bottom sheet to first open partially then fully first let's drag it down and let's minimize it 
so suppose we have something like five items so in that case what we can do here in this bottom sheet there is a parameter called skip partially expanded so by default it is false we can make it true so in this case now let's run our app again so let's click on, on our bottom sheet so here we can see there is no fully expanded state or partially it has already opened in this state so this skip partially expanded is helpful in that case so let's drag down it and let's minimize this and here let's click control b so here we can see the documentation of model bottom sheet so here you can read more about this model bottom sheet how they have implemented it so let's close it now we also have another type so for that here let's create one more composable function so another one we have this standard bottom sheet so we can implement this standard bottom sheet through the bottom sheet scaffold composable function so let's call that function so here this bottom sheet scaffold we need to provide this sheet content and this scaffold content through these parentheses here first let's create a sheet content so here this will be our sheet content so here i have used this box layout first so in this box layout there will be a simple text and after this box layout there will be a column so in this column i have used this text and this spacer and there will be a button to collapse this bottom sheet so first let's also provide the content of our main screen i have just used this box layout and in this box layout i have used this text so what we will do first this is asking for that opt in experimental api so let's use that and here first let's create the state of this bottom sheet scaffold so this is how we create this scaffold state so let's use this scaffold state here scaffold state let's pass that one and when we click this button we need to collapse our bottom sheet so for that here let's provide that on click functionality so here i have used this partial expanded first we also need to use this composable function in our main activity let's remove all this and let's use that now let's run our app again so here is our scaffold content text and this bottom sheet so what more we can do first let's minimize this and let's go to our file so here first let's use a parameter called sheet peak height so here in this emulator we can see this bottom sheet is visible somehow but not so much so let's drag up so here we can see this is how it will open we need this much bottom sheet to be open all the times so we can pass this sheet peak height here let's pass it 128 dp 
and also this scaffold content let's make it in the center so now let's run our app again still this content is not in the center because here I, we also need to use that fill max size so let's use that also like this now let's run our app again so here we can see our scaffold content is in the center and also this bottom sheet has some minimum peak height so when we drag upward so here we can see this is how our bottom sheet will open so this standard bottom sheets coexist with the screen's main ui region and allow for simultaneously viewing and interacting with both regions especially when the main ui region is frequently scrolled or panned that's it for this video on bottom sheet in material design 3 using jetpack compose as always if you have any questions or comments feel free to drop them below see you in the next one